All right, we're back on the record in Ray the matter of chastity. Michelle Brock, 20T9814. We had to do some, I apologize for the delay again. We had to do some tweaking to the jury instructions, but we are ready to go now. So we can go ahead and pass those out and you all read along with me on these. Now we'll, um, we're going to read through these, then you will hear closing argument, and then you will go back to deliberate. So, all right, so these are the jury instructions. So instruction number 1A, operating a motor vehicle under the influence. You will find the defendant, Chast Chastity Michelle Brock, guilty under this instruction if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that in Hardin County on or about the 7th day of November 2020 and within 12 months of her arrest, she was operating or in physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol, under the influence of other drugs, or under the combined influence of alcohol and any other substance which impairs one's driving ability. If you find the defendant guilty of operating a motor vehicle under the influence, you shall fix her, fix her punishment as follows. A, a fine not less than $200 or more than $500, or B, confinement in the county jail for a period of not less than 48 hours, nor more than 30 days, or at a both a fine and confinement at your discretion. Instruction 1B, operating a motor vehicle with alcohol concentration of or above 0 .08. You will define the defendant guilty of operating a motor vehicle and with alcohol concentration of or above 0 .08 if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt all of the following. That in this county on or about November 7, 2020, and within 12 months before the issuance of the warrant for this arrest, she operated a motor vehicle. And let me just say, sometimes that confuses juries because it talks about that 12 months. You know, because, because this is a misdemeanor and violation of charges, she has to be charged within 12 months of the, of the day of the alleged offenses. In this situation, you know, she was. She was, she was arrested on the day of November 7, uh, 2020. Okay. And let's see. But, and that while doing so, the alcohol concentration in her breath in her blood or breath was at or above 0 .08 and that the scientifically reliable test of the defendant's blood was taken within two hours of, of cessation of operation of the motor vehicle by the defendant. If you find the defendant guilty of operating a motor vehicle under the influence, you shall fix her punishment as follows. A fine of not less than $200 or more than $500 or be confinement in the county jail for a period of not less than 48 hours nor more than 30 days or C, at both a fine and confinement at your discretion. Instruction two, Carol's driving. You will find the defendant, Chastity Michelle Brock, guilt, Brock, guilty of under this instruction if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that in Hardin County, on or about the 7th day of November 2020, and within 12 months of her arrest, she operated a vehicle in a careless manner without regard for the safety and convenience of pedestrians and other vehicles upon the highway, to wit, the defendant drove across the center line, causing traffic to stop in the middle of the road. If you find the defendant guilty of careless driving, you shall fix her punishment as follows, a fine of not less than $20 nor more than $100. Instruction three, possession of an open alcohol beverage container in a motor vehicle. You will find the defendant, Chastity Michelle Brock, guilty under this instruction, if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that in Hardin County, on or above, about the seventh day of November 2020 and within 12 months of her arrest, the defendant had in her possession an open alcoholic beverage container in a motor vehicle located on a public highway or on the right of way of a public highway. Definitions. The following words shall have, have the following meaning in these instructions. One, possession means to have actual physical possession or otherwise to exercise actual dominion or control over a tangible object. Two, alcoholic beverage, beverage means Beer, ale, porter, stout, and other similar fermented beverages, including sake or similar products of any name, or description containing one half or one percent or more of alcohol by volume, brewed or produced from malt, wholly or in part, or from any substitute, therefore, or B, wine of not less than one half of one percent of alcohol by volume, or C, distilled spirits, which is that substance known as ethyl alcohol ethanol or spirits of wine in any form, including all dilutions and mixtures thereof from whatever source or by whatever process produced. Three, open alcoholic beverage container means any bottle, can, or other receptacle that contains any amount of alcoholic beverage and A, is open or has a broken seal, or B, the contents of which are partially removed. Instruction four, failure to wear seatbelt. 
Under the evidence presented to you this, this, in this case, you may find the defendant not guilty or guilty of the offense of failure to wear a seatbelt. You will find the defendant guilty if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that all of the following. A, that in this county on or about November 7, 2020, and within 12 months before the issuance of the accusatory document herein, the defendant was operating a motor vehicle in Hardin County, Kentucky, and that while doing so, the defendant was not wearing her seatbelt. You'll find the defendant guilty under this instruction. You'll fix her punishment at a fine not to exceed $25. All this reading, my allergies are kicking in. Oh, thanks, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I'm sip of water. Lots of reading here. Okay. Instruction number five, failure to produce proof of an insurance card. Under the evidence presented in this case, you may find the defendant not guilty or guilty of the offense of failure to produce proof of an insurance card. You will find the defendant guilty if and only if you believe from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt all the following. A, that within this county on or about November 7, 2020, and within 12 months before the issuance of the accusatory document herein, the defendant was the owner or operator of a motor vehicle. B, that a peace officer may demand upon said owner to show proof of insurance card in compliance with the administrative regulations promulgated by the Department of Insurance. And C, that the owner or operator failed to produce the card or proof of insurance card upon demand. If you find the defendant guilty under this instruction, you will fix the punishment at a fine of not less than $20 nor more than $100. Instruction 6. Presumption of innocence and reasonable doubt. The law presumes, presumes the defendant to be innocent of a crime and the warrant or citation shall not be considered as evidence or having any weight against her. You shall find the defendant not guilty unless you are satisfied from the evidence alone and beyond a reasonable doubt that she is guilty. If upon the whole case you have a reasonable doubt, that the defendant is guilty, you shall find her not guilty. Instruction number seven, unanimous verdict. The verdict of the jury must be in writing and must be unanimous and must be signed by one of you as four persons. You should use the forms provided at the end of these instructions for your verdict. Number eight, right to remain silent. A defendant is not compelled to testify and the fact that the defendant did not testify or appear in this case cannot be used as an inference of guilt and should not prejudice her in any way. That's this, the 31st day of August, 2022. Now, here are the forms. So, verdict form A is, um, we the jury find the defendant not guilty of operating a motor vehicle while under the influence. If you find that, then you sign there. Or, then we the jury find the defendant guilty of operating a motor vehicle while under the influence and fix her punishment as follows. And you choose any of the following three. A fine and sum of, and that's not less than $200, no more than $500, or confinement in the county jail for blank number of days slash hours, not less than 48 hours, no more than 30 days, or a fine and sum of blank, not less than 200, no more than 500, and confinement in the county jail for a period of blank hours and days, not less than 48 hours, nor more than 30 days. What you all have there does not have, we've added the signature for the jury for, you'll get the one that has a signature line for the fourth person there. That just got dropped in our review. Or, and then go to the next page, or we the jury find the defendant guilty of operating a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08 or above and fix her punishment as follows. And again, you'll choose a fine of, of uh, blank, not less than 200, no more than 500, confinement in the county jail of four blank hours days, not less than 48 hours, no more than 30 days, or a fine in the sum of blank and confinement in the jail for a period of blank. And then again, that would be signed by the four person. So we go to the next one, verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty of careless driving. That's signed by the four person. Or we, the jury, find the defendant guilty of careless driving and fix her punishment at a fine in the amount of blank, not less than 20, nor more than 100. Verdict form C. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty of possession of an open alcohol beverage container in a motor vehicle. Or we, the jury, find the defendant guilty of possession of an open alcohol beverage container in a motor vehicle and fix punishment at a fine of blank, an amount not to exceed $100. Verdict form D, we the jury find the defendant not guilty of the offense of failure to wear seatbelt, or we the jury find the defendant guilty of the offense of failure to wear seatbelt and fix the punishment at a fine of uh, not an amount not to exceed $25. Verdict form E, we the jury find the defendant not guilty of the offense of failure to produce the, the proof of insurance card, 
or we, the jury, find the defendant guilty of the offense of failure to produce the proof of insurance card and fix the punishment at a fine of not to exceed $100. Okay, and finally, the concurrent consecutive sentencing, we, the jury recommends to the court concerning the sentencing that any fines imposed can either run concurrently, which means they all run at the same time, and it's only the highest amount of which she has to pay if you find that she should have to pay something, or consecutively, which means they stack, you know, and they add up to a total. Okay? 